I don't know if we've got enough fuel. But we're getting low, so uh, I'm going to grab some fuel. You're on PC every day, for me. Ninja, 30 months. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Ninja. I've just, I've just noticed something. Thanks to all of your amazing generosity, guys. <clears throat> and I really do mean that. We are 17 sub points away from a new emoticon. Which I never normally mention unless we're really, really close to a threshold. And we are close to a threshold. 17 sub points for another emoticon. Because you guys have been amazing this week. Honestly, you've gifted so many subs this week. That I thought I would mention it. What are sub points? <clears throat> a tier 1 sub counts as a point. A tier 2 sub counts as 2 points. And a tier 3 sub counts as 3 points. No, it counts as 5 points. 1, 2 and 5, that's right. 17 sub points. That's very close. That's the closest it's been all year, without a doubt. BJ Webb, thank you for 27 months. Nevo, welcome back. Sub run out of me. Yeah, no problem. It's no problem. If you just happen to have a prime kicking around and you wouldn't mind, you know, using it for a month, that'd be awesome. <laughs> a left. Welcome back. Uh, if it goes back down, do you lose emotes? Not anymore, Boeing. It used to work that way. It used to be that way. Uh, that if your if your sub count went back below a certain threshold, you lost the ability to. You didn't lose the emote, but the moment you tried to delete an emote and replace it with another one, it removed the slot, which was absolute garbage. But they changed that. So the moment you pass a threshold, you keep that many emotes now. So even if you drop all the way back to one, you'll still always have those emote slots. That's the way it works. Um, I don't, Langefeld, honestly, mate, I. I don't, I don't ever stream for a specific number of people. Like I never do that. In fact, I don't even look at the number. I honestly don't look at the number. Um, but as long as people are happy to sort of watch on a Sunday night, do some trucking, we'll do trucking. The moment like it's obvious that there's no interest in it anymore, we'll do something else on Sunday night. That's the way I work. But I don't ever look at it and go, oh, you know, I've only got like. 1,100 viewers today and I had 1,400, like I don't ever look at it that way. It used to be, you know, years ago when trucking was way more popular, I'd, I'd get over 2,000 every Sunday. But now that doesn't happen because a lot, not as many people are trucking anymore. Like the game's been out for years and people come back to it when there's a DLC, but they don't sort of play it week in, week out like they used to. Uh, pipe down, thank you for gifting five subs to Carview, Mr. Mechmac, Mechmac, Ben Jam, Foster Webb, and Lee watches streams. Thank you very much, uh, Pipe Down, for your support. Oh, come on! I'm reading a sub message! This police are scumbags. Welcome back. Thank you, Pipe Down. You're very kind. And welcome back, Nexus, Langevelt, Ben Jam. New sub from Lee watches streams. Foster Web is all kicking off. Uh, we're five points away now. Five five points away from an emote slot now. Those cops have no appreciation. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you guys, you're awesome. We've got five points left. Oh, I don't like this. Hairpin bend. Vehicle comes round and boom, it's done. Valtiel. With a sub bomb Valtiel. Eh, one day, Langeveld. Thank you very much for the sub bomb Valtiel. Let's gift it a sub to Redcar, Neelai, Rappi, Flash Booty, and Dan23. Let me just refresh that one second. I think that's done it. Yep, that's done it. Thank you very, very much, everybody. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Yep, that's a new sub emote unlocked. Thank you so much. And Lord Dawn of the Shires here as well. Nice. Well done. GG to the lot of you. Thank you. Right, let's get Lord Doyle of the Shire on, shall we? Doyle, come on. Uh, we just got a new emote slot, Doyle. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. High five, everyone. Welcome to the we shall celebrate Doyle with some ASMR. We need to hear you, Schmack. And Mrs. Squirrel's here. Look at the Santa emotes, Doyle. Look at that. Look at the Santa. Look at that. Who is Santa? You with a Santa cap on. Welcome to the Nut House. Lord Doyle of the Shire. First of his name. <laughs> When's his next haircut? January. Welcome to the Nut House. No salivating on the microphone, Doyle. That's my only rule, okay? I have to use that microphone. A little bit chewy. Yeah. Welcome to the Nut House. Oh, 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 oh. Jules, hello, Mrs. Squirrel and Doyle. Hi, <laughs> Welcome to the Nut House. When am I getting clipped? What do you mean, rescue? It's the awesome beard of awesomeness. Holy Roller, hype, 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 200 bits. Thank you, Holy Roller. Alright, they're done. <laughs> <It's just like laughs> Didn't even touch the sides. Two left, Doyle. Two left, pal. That's one of them. Welcome back. Om nom 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 nom. Right. Thanks for popping in. High five. Uh, you sit there. I should tab out. And just there. Welcome back. Huh? Big one or little one? Um, let's do the red one because I think Mrs. Frosty's here and I'm sure that's from Mrs. Frosty. So we'll do that one. Uh, Altazur, thank you for the bits. Right, let's open this up. Welcome back, Nata. It's a big red box. To the nut house. Open the card first, okay. Right, there's the card. Two squirrel, you see that? <laughs> Two squirrel. Welcome to the nut house. What's up, Dolly? Excited to go Christmas card. I'm gone. <laughs> Mrs. Frost, there's no money in it. There's no money in this. Don't need money. Do Welcome to the nut house. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Look at that. Baby. Picture of Doyle, both of you. 
It says, Mr. and Mrs. Squirrel, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Just for you two. Thank you. Inside, it says, to Mr. and Mrs. Squirrel and family. Dorothy, calm down, pal. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Mr. and Mrs. Frosty Jack. Once again, another year passes, and we would like to thank you for all the great content and entertainment you've provided. Long may it continue. Aw. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Frosty. You can put our card up. I this is our second card of the year. This is to Mrs. Squirrel. Woo! Thank you, Mrs. Frosty. That's for you. This says to Squirrel. They're all neatly labelled. This is great. I feel cheating now opening. Ooh, what have you got? My favourite. <laughs> what have you got? Mini chocolate oranges. Thank you. I got fish and chips. Oh, not <laughs> I've had fish and chips for ages. You've never had these. The they're, not, they're not for you, Doyle. And then we've got two squirrel. <laughs> Doyle, it's not for you, pal. It's not for you. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa, wow, look at this. That's, cool. that's awesome. <laughs> Half moon. Brilliant. Look at that. A oh, tin of Jaffa moon. cakes and a Jaffa cake box. I've never seen that's genius. Yeah. I've never seen that. I know, guys. No, I know. Oh, that's well cool. What's this one? Two Doyle. <laughs> woof, woof, Merry Christmas. <laughs> What have you got, Doyle? What have you got? These are for you. These are a big bag. A big bag of Tasty Bites. Whoa. Tasty Bites. Cheesy cubes with chicken. How good does this sound, Doyle? Should we try one? Should we try one of these? His little tail's wagging away. Chewy cubes. Look at these. All right, Doyle. Let me open it. <laughs> Can't open it. There you go. Not cheap. Not. They smell good, don't they, Doyle? Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's you like that. <laughs> you want another one? He likes the cubes. There you go. Yeah, that was for you. We'll put them back in your bag. <laughs> he's happy now he got something aren't you <laughs> oh he's like a petulant child when you don't he doesn't get something <laughs> it's like everything must be for me if it's in a box it must be mine to mrs squirrel to mrs squirrel that's for you that feels heavy that feels heavy what you got what was it? A, a little, little calendar. Westy puppy's trying to tell you something. <laughs> Look at that. Like a little mini Westy puppy calendar. Hello. How cool is that? How cool is this? I've never seen one of them before. A year of pups on a mini calendar. Look at this. A What's that? Westy what is it? Diary of the year. Oh, oh my so God. Cute. She loves that. She's I'm got a little Westy. Right now. A little Westy um, diary. That is awesome. For the year. Little pictures in. Thank you, Mrs. Frosty. And then, it's from Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Frosty. And Mrs. <laughs> this one's to me. This is the last one, I think. It's not for you, pal. You've had yours. <laughs> this isn't for you. It doesn't matter if you put your leg on my he your head on my leg. There we go. Aww. It's in an unmarked envelope. Squirrel. Take this. What could this be in an unmarked envelope? Dawn, it's not for you. Stop scratching my leg. It's a mouse mat, I think. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really good. It's got me a squirrel mouse mat. That is awesome. It says Nuthouse Community on it. <laughs> oh. Thank <laughs> you, Mrs. Good. Frosty. Can we get some GGs in chat from Mr. and Mrs. Frosty? Because they, they were really, really, really nice gifts. Doll's happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Mrs. Squirrel's very happy. happy Thank you very much. Nutter. 
A lovely little Christmas gift. That's Thank you so much. Huh? <laughs> Gonna open that one. <laughs> right, we've got another box. This I'm not sure if this is Dave M84s or not. Oops. Stop it though. Stop it. Oops. She loves that diary. <laughs> there we go. We're in. Right on top is a carry bag. <laughs> to the left is a carry bag. Inside is a box. It's a box within a box. See, I'm, I'm going to open this box and it'll be a box with some other boxes inside. It says, Merry, oh, it's a label. It says, to Squirrel, Happy Christmas from Tor Thomas Hodson1234. Is Thomas Hodson in chat? Because if he's not, I might save this until he is. Thomas, are you here? Thomas, are you here? Knock Wait, once for yes, knock twice for no, Thomas. We would like to convene with you. There he is. Right, hey. Thomas. Right, we'll open it then, mate, okay? Are you alright opening this now, or do you want me to save this till Christmas, Thomas? It's up to you. We can do either. Not three times on the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> Fine now. Okay, let's do now. Let's do now, then. Mince pies, Ooh. Mr. Kipling, <laughs> straight in there. Straight in with the Kiplings. The Good Housekeeping Institute taste approved 2018 mm. Mr. Kipling mince pie. Yum, yum. Two boxes of. Thank you very much, Thomas. Can we get some GGs in chat for Thomas, guys? Two boxes of minces. That'll do nicely. Hey, you can't have them. <laughs> you know, you don't need to try one for me. I'm sure they'll taste great. I'll let you know when I've eaten them all. Like all great people, you need a taste tester. I don't need a taste tester. <laughs> What's he doing? He's Doyle, stop chewing. Doyle! <laughs> it's like chewing the wrapping paper. What are you doing? You're not that desperate. Charlie Sims, congrats on the new emotes, and can I have one, please? <laughs> you want a mince pie, Charlie? Uh, yeah, seriously, thank thank you for those gifts, guys. Thank you very much for the gifts. They're really, really nice. And also, thank you very much for getting us a new emote slot, which is really, really cool. We've, we've been hovering around that one for a while now. Finally bust it. I do, Mrs. Frosty. They're really Mrs. Squirrel's really, really happy with that Westy stuff. She loves that. Come on. There we go. No. That's better. Can we have Squirrel Char? <laughs> Will there be a convoy before Christmas? Yep. Applications are open. It's a sub-event though. Christmas convoy hype. Dazza, you literally just missed Doyle. Like, on it, like he just left. I'm not even joking. Beacon's been on for the whole thing, do you? Why do you want an emote with a char? Come on. <laughs> like, how often can you use that? The 
bed's coming along nicely, thank you. Yeah, it's weird. Like, it takes a while for it to sort of... In the early days, it looks like stubble. Then it looks like you've not had a shave for a week, which... Because it's true. And then it starts to resemble something like a beard, but it's really patchy. And then after a few weeks, it starts to sort of settle down and look like a beard. You'd rather have a hot pot emailed. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to find um, a new person to do my emotes, which is going to be a big problem because, like, honestly, they're not easy to find. But Gears Art, who did a lot of our doll emotes, is like, it took him eight months to do the last ones. <laughs> He's that busy now because, like, it's the Twitch official artist now, so he's got so much work. I can't really wait eight months for an emote. And the trouble is, like, when I find somebody else, like, the style is different. It's just, it's just really difficult trying to find an artist. I don't know, Beaker, because I don't want to disappoint people, you know. You know, you know I'm fussy, Beaker. You know I'm fussy. I am fussy. And people send stuff in and it, you know, I don't want to be that guy that goes, nah. <laughs> oh, it's fine, I left. And the thing is, like, doing emotes is, um, you have to do them in three sizes. So you have to you have to do something, you have to draw something, and then you have to do it in two more sizes. And it has to look the same. <laughs> Open up the sea for sub and then have a mini competition with it. Well that's what I just said, Revolver. The problem is is like I'm fussy, so I might get a whole lot of people send emotes in and they're like, they're okay or they're good, but they're not good enough. And imagine, like, sending an emote in to me and thinking that you've done an amazing job and I turn around and say, no, I don't want that. You're going to be like, what? What's wrong with that? It's brilliant. It's my best work. I don't want you being offended. Whereas if I hire an artist and pay them money and I don't like the work, I can just go, I don't like the work. <laughs> not pay them more. Pay them and not use it. You get a shave, Dave. You know, one of these days, Dave, you're going to come into the stream and I'll have had a shave and you won't know what to say. Nutty Jim, good evening. Yeah, you'll say get a beard. <laughs> Have you got rid of all the glitter yet, Dave? Oh, hang on. I forgot I had a cup of tea. One sec. Let's move that over there. I had a cup of tea brought to me. Oh, it's nowhere near warm enough now. But maybe, maybe I'll have to suffer with a bit of squishy carrot cake. Look at that. Look how moist that is. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's horrible. I hate it so much. <laughs> Sorry, you left. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go make dinner. Lol. <laughs> SMD security. I uh, think my boys have spent too much time with you and the nutters. Sent them to bed saying they can watch the rest on YouTube. Met with a reply. Scumbag dad from my eight-year-old. <laughs> I couldn't tell him off for laughing. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. 
Yeah, I would say they've definitely been watching too much. Can we go all the way around this thing, I wonder? Oh. <coughs> You're welcome, zombie. It looks like we can drive around. Let's try. Please don't shave. <laughs> okay. I guarantee I won't shave by the time you get back after your food. Just randomly left though, just to annoy people. You don't think I can? I beg to differ. We need an inner emote. First gear on this is like, ugh, clutch bite is horrendous. Hmm. Problem with this one is if I don't get it close enough, my opportunity to fix it is broken because of that trailer right in front of it, and I don't think. I can easily line this thing up. Oh, I had it then. No, uh, no, just, just park it there. Is that okay, Jeff? Yeah, it's fine. Leave it there, he says. It's good. Yeah, I might do another one, Langevel. I don't know. I think it's like the cap is part of the whole thing, you know? Like <laughs> Captain Flint. Okay, I need to try this again. It worked fine, Captain Flint. Like a glove. Uh, what did SCS email you when you were not? No, no, no. It's just the, one of the physics guys at SCS uh, emailed me. And just basically said, like, you know, the stuff, the physics stuff, um, like he, he basically asked for, he asked for more detail to be in the, in the blog post itself, but it wasn't. And, um, explained the physics stuff to me, to me more. We exchanged a few emails. I wasn't annoyed. Well, I was slightly, I wasn't really annoyed, but I was a little bit like, well, why didn't you just put that in the blog? <laughs> but he said that. He did ask, he did push for it to be in the blog, but it was buried in the forum. Um, I don't know. I can't explain it. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly, Shelly. He watched my 1.3 video where I said the physics, like, I went through the change list and I said the physics has been improved. However, I can't see any physics improvements. So he then emailed me to say, yes, you have to literally do these console commands. And I was like, well... I already emailed SCS and asked them for the details of the change log, and that wasn't provided. And he just apologized and said, yeah, it's it's on this forum post buried in the forum. You know, who's got time to sit there going through the forum? And I said to him, I said it would work so much better is if you release a version of the game and at the bottom of your blog post is a link to like a full list of release notes, like a full, like a detailed change. Because some people, some people like me, need the detail. It's okay to have headline items in your blog post, saying we've done this, we've added that, we've done this, but then link it to something where it goes into more detail for the people that need it. So I can I can only hope that you know they change the way they do things because it doesn't benefit anybody when they do that. Yeah, Neil Lynch, I saw that. I saw they'd um, tweeted my video today. 
And some of the replies they got on Twitter were just like, you know, I don't know if you've read any of them, but some of the replies they got were just bizarre. I'm still getting replies to it. So in, in reply, in reply to, um, SCS tweeting out that, um, in this video of inquisitive players, you can see like the physics changes, blah, blah, blah. One guy replies, could you get the game for PS4, please? Like literally emails me and SCS while on Twitter. Could you get the game for PS4? Nothing to do with the post at all. <laughs> it's like, really? Some of the some of the messages they get though. What was that one I read? I mean, legitimate questions like, why don't you implement this in the options? Like, yes, that's a legitimate question. Um, how about you improve support for the Fanatex CSW wheelbases? Okay. And then there was, a, there was a really nasty one somewhere. One guy saying he found suspension systems 0.4 to be better. Okay. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> this one, I think it was. Replied back. This guy replied to them and said, Yeah, you should. 1.3 physics update is only negative updates for all time in ETS2. Please fix or don't touch physics. So he basically said to them, what you've done in your physics changes has made it worse. Please fix it or don't make any physics changes. Like to their own game. Like I can't understand where he's coming from with that. He basically saying that what we had before was better. Like, eh? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was not better. Now they've given you options to adjust it. Oh yeah, that's definitely worse. The default settings they had were to like make it exactly like it was before, but now they've given you options to change it to make it more realistic. And he's like, yeah, that's that's worse. <laughs> okay. Options is a bad thing then, right? Okay. I see. <laughs> Crazy stuff they have to deal with. Whoa, 50 tons. Let's do this. Let's take 50 tons. We can do it. How far is it? That's something down the road. <laughs> so, yeah. Happy I don't know. You physics don't work on Trucker's MP, that's a problem. Why don't they work on Trucker's MP? SG. You just change them in your profile, they work on your local game. I don't understand why they can't work on Trucker's MP. Pretty certain Trucker's MP doesn't do anything to restrict that. Well, if, he's, if he was in chat, he can answer um, why the heck he's making comments like that. Handy Hammy, 17 month, another month in. To read the comments on Farm Sim 19, sad to see so many impatient, ignorant people. Where, where were the comments on Steam or somewhere else? To be honest, though, Turbo Trucker, like, you've got to look at it from another perspective with Farm Sim. They have two years in between each release. They don't move it enough forward in two years. They really, really don't. They are so fortunate to get away with what they do because nobody else is making a proper competitive game to, the, to what they do. Good night, Flamingo. but also on Facebook and YouTube. I don't know if Cattle and Crops is ever going to get the fire, uh, fire by trial. I just don't know.
Yep, they work, Dr. D. Uh, fast tracks, good night. You bright testing me, bro? When this thing's not hauling, it's quite nimble. You don't see how they can far play. You you honestly when you when you get inside when you get inside a tractor and you start using it to pick things up, and you watch those things glitch and float and fall through things. When you do logging and you try to pick a log up and it's just fumbling around, you honestly don't think they can improve the physics. When you get 10 people in a server and it can't even like relay the information about what state of field's in, like you can't think that they could improve anything in the game. Come on. <laughs> Are you playing a different game to me? I just see issues all the time that have never been fixed in the four, nearly five years that I've been playing it. The physics is a joke. It's an absolute joke. Get inside one of the pickup trucks and drive around in farm sim. And you can like jump off like hills and stuff and watch it behave in the worst fashion. You can take your horse, you can ride it into a train, jump in and out of the carriages, and then finish with your head in the ground. You can't think of anything that could be fixed. <laughs> the whole physics of the game is completely broken. You could start with that. I d I, my mind is blown. Harry the Slayer, 45 months. Thank you, Harry. Keep up the good work. Also, can you tell me what command changes the field of view on the mirrors? Um, isn't that in... Oh, it's not in there, is it? The field of view is in there. I don't think you can adjust the mirror field of view. I'm not sure, actually. Goat Sim is worse. Goat Sim was hacked together in three days and then polished up for release. That's not really the same as a multi-million pound game that is Farm Sim. I've missed the start point like a glove. No, Goat Sim was built at a hackathon, a three-day hackathon, and people loved it so much they decided to polish the game up and release it. That's what Goat Sim was. They're making money, they don't care. Well, that was kind of my point. That the criticism being leveled at them isn't necessarily unjustified. The fans are frustrated with being given the same thing every two years. Oh, we've improved some dynamic lighting. Oh, we've added another crop. Oh, we've got John Deere and horses. Yeah, what about the core gameplay? Well, you can buy fields now. Well, that's nice. That's actually a nice feature. What about the physics? No. What about the netcode? No. What about the map editor that you really screwed up last time? Well, it's a bit better. Welcome to the nut house. It's not two years of work, Matty. That's the point. It really isn't. It's not even close. I can't even see the trailer. <laughs> Jeffrey Valentine, welcome to the nut house. They don't even have a GPS thing in there. Like, you can get a GPS mod. They never built a GPS in it. Modern farming involves GPS. They've not even bothered with it. The inside of a tractor <clears throat> in, in Farm Sim, the inside of a tractor, right, although it looks nice now, you can't click on a single thing. It's like Eurotruck. You can't click on any buttons. None of these systems work. None of the inside equipment works. Like if it was a proper farm sim, I wouldn't care if they give you three tractors 
And every tractor was like properly implemented with a manual, like like flight sim. Imagine that. That would be crazy. <clears throat> But no, a tractor in farm sim is distilled down to this. Something that you jump inside, press one button to start, and press the accelerator and off you go. <clears throat> There's no damage on equipment. Like, you can jackknife plows left, right, and center, and the game doesn't care. Timing, the only truck on the road. The focus is on farming, not on the equipment. Ask the fans, Dre. Ask the people that play the game what they love, and they will tell you every time it's the equipment. Heck, you, Dre, they, they were releasing they were releasing fact sheets every single week for about 20 weeks before release. A fact sheet came out every week with the stats for each tractor. It was like a Top Trumps card. Every week was coming out. Bits like tractor this, plow that. Don't tell me it's not about the equipment when they're releasing fact sheets every week. It is about the equipment. People love the brands. People love the models. It's like your truck. People love the brands. <clears throat> it's absolutely about the equipment. Of course it is, Sammy. They all, they all behave the same. Every one of them. There's no difference in the gearboxes. There's no difference in the engine power, apart from, like, the top speed you might notice. It's all the same. Oh, come on, bro. Euro Truck 2, the AI strikes back. They won't do implementation buttons for a reason that uh, hefty manual for 737 and FSX. No console player is going to read that. Well, Turbo Trucker, that's because they focus on console, and that's literally why it is the way it is. Lowest common denominator. That's why you don't get any like de uh, detailed flight sims on console for that reason. It's the wrong market. So if you take a game that's on a console, like it gets dumbed down on PC. It's just the way it is. Jules, thank you for the bits. Lipstick on a pig. <laughs> Surprised there's no bacon on the back of this thing. Oh, this doesn't look. You notice speed improvements with the better tractors? Yeah, but it's in the grand scheme of things. Like, in in that game, you can take a tractor that doesn't have enough power to power the machinery. All it does is slow it down a bit. Try clicking the right switch on an Airbus overhead panel while using an Xbox controller. It's not about that though, Dave, is it? That's not the reason. You can get keyboard and mice for controllers, for consoles. It's because you don't, like, the market for realism does not belong on console. The market for realism belongs on PC. Well, 
Well, Vrome, it never did that pre-release on Farm Sim 19. When we tried it, it was fine. Dr. D, a console is basically like a cut-down PC. It has plenty of power. If you can play Battlefield 5 in 4K, I'm pretty certain you could run a reasonable flight sim. It does Ida Simmer if you download the new one. It is CPU intensive, yeah. But here's the thing. Unlike on PC, they can actually optimize it for the console. <clears throat> you can get flight sims. You can get infinite flight and X-Plane on mobile platforms. Yeah. If you can run it on an iPad, I'm pretty certain you could run it on a console. <laughs> Outside, that is so bizarre. Look at that. It's like in the cockpit, the, the visibility is just inverted. Flight sim is still flight sim, is still not a real thing. I'm not really sure what your point is. It's a simulator, of course, it's not the real thing. Thank you, Musil. Am I partner with SCS? No. <laughs> Would you get that idea? Well, it should be, Dre. It's designed to work with South, so it should look exactly seamless when you fly over it. got a flight sim for your Amiga 500. <laughs> I used to have it for the Atari ST. You don't mind that there isn't any damage in farm sim because you mostly play for fun. When you take a game like Spin Size it looks infinitely better with superior physics then farm sim visual updates every two years is quite pathetic. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Is Flight Sim VR compatible, Charlie? So x has been VR compatible um, for a little while, I believe. Um, P3D certainly doesn't really have the frame rate for it. Aerosoft, Aerofly FS2 is the VR one. The problem Aerofly has is it doesn't really have enough people building on the platform, so there's no, like, third-party plane support. Orbex have done some stuff on it, like they did Innsbruck, and it looks incredible on Aerofly, but... You know, and it's still, it can do like 120 FPS on Aerofly. It's just an amazing engine, but there's nobody really building on it. This is a real problem. <laughs> 